early 1960s, a series of what had been termed sit-in movements began across the South. The most successful and far-reaching were those in Nashville, Tennessee. Reverend Bevel, you were in Nashville at the time, and I'd like to know what were you doing prior to the first sit-in movement, and also what brought you to Nashville in the first place? Um, prior to the sit-in movements, I was a student at the American Baptist Theological Seminary and prior, um, and I had also been, in the fall of 59, I had been studying um, nonviolence in workshops um, conducted by the Fellowship of Reconciliation uh, in the city of Nashville. And, uh, sit in, uh, study nonviolence with the uh, intent to use nonviolence as a working tool to uh, solve the problems of segregation, which was a system of uh, discrimination designed to uh, uh, take away from black people certain basic rights, uh, social mobility rights, voting rights, housing rights, and educational rights, economic rights. And, uh, I came to Nashville um, as a result of uh, searching for the answer to the violence and drunkenness and poverty that was a constant state in, in the uh, communities in which I found myself living. Um, I felt a call by God uh, to address myself to that, and I chose to study theology as a science that I would use in addressing myself uh, to the problems of oppression, mental disorder, drunkenness, and disease that was uh, seemed to have gripped the uh, black community everywhere I had been in America. Okay, how were these workshops that you were in in the fall of 59 organized, and who conducted They were organized by the Fellowship of Reconciliation, and they were conducted by uh, Reverend James Lawson, who Pastor of the church outside of the city of Nashville and was a divinity student at Vanderbilt University. Uh, they introduced us to the basic premise of nonviolence as is taught by Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount and in the New Testament, and the techniques and methods used by Mahatma Gandhi and the theories uh, as postulated by Tolstoy and Thoreau. Uh, so we were introduced to nonviolence as a principle. Uh, and a way of life, and not so much as a technique. Uh, James Lawson had been a, uh, what was known as a pacifist. In fact, he had served a, a prison term, I think, of approximately five years for not uh, uh, submitting himself to the draft in World War II. So for him, nonviolence uh, was a religious conviction, and so he did not teach us nonviolence as a technique, but as a principle and a way of life. And so, as a Christian minister, uh, I have viewed nonviolence as a principle that had been taught by Jesus uh, Christ, and so I studied it with the intent to master that science as a way of life for myself. Where were these workshops held at? Um, they were held at the... Um, I was a Methodist church, I forgot the name of the church right now, but it's a church right down from Fiscal Methodist Church. 